Now that we've placed our pipe network in our plan view and our profile view, we're going to go ahead and start labeling them. So just like any other object inside Civil 3D to label your part networks, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to the annotate tab and you're going to go to the add labels button. Once you select that, you're going to drop down to your features and you're going to select your pipe network. From there, you can choose to label your entire network and plan, your entire network and profile, your entire network and section, single part and plan, single part and profile, single part and section, and then spanning pipes and plan and spanning pipes and profile. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do a single part and plan. I'm going to label my part label style as length, material, and slope. I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to make sure that in my layout tab that I have a slope arrow added in, or a flow direction arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and select flow direction arrow to add this in so that we can see what direction our pipe is flowing. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to set my fixed length as true so that I don't have a length of arrow running from one end of the pipe to the other end of the pipe. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and hit OK. And I am going to label one of my pipes in plan view. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. And I'm going to select this pipe for my storm sewer. And at the center grip of the storm drain line, what you'll see is I have my information for how long my pipe is, what size it is, what percent slope it's at, and an arrow showing what direction it's going. From there, I can then choose to label a single part and profile, and I can choose to label my pipe as link material and slope, and I'm going to go ahead and choose edit again, make sure that I have a flow direction arrow, which I do, and that's because your labels work the same for plan view versus profile view. The only reason why you have to specify for Civil 3D whether you're doing plan view or profile view is so that it knows whether or not you are working inside of a profile view window or whether you're working in just the straight up model space for a plan view pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to the same pipe in the profile view. I have to select single part profile and then click add. So now I'm going to go ahead and select it. So then again, you can see the same exact label placed at the center with an arrow and my pipe information. So again, we're going to go ahead and move on to adding in a single part in plan again. But at this time, I'm going to do a structure. So with the structure, you can have data with connected pipes for storm and sanitary, name only for storm and sanitary. I'm going to go ahead and go with name only for storm. I'm going to click add. This time we're going again back to plan view. So I'm going to go to this head wall down here and I'm going to select it. And what you can see is the name of the structure, which is structure eight, which is not a great name, but we can change the name of the structure if we needed to. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back again to single part and profile. I'm going to choose a structure label and I am going to choose name only storm and click add and then navigate back to the profile and select it and I have my label for structure eight.